Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The hot news today is the individual mandate for Obamacare has now, what, changed. Because we had heard before that they were extending the deadline. Now it just looks like it's open registration until when? So after the election? Well, I don't know. It does happen to change on a weekly basis almost. Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Kemal with comments on the headlines of today. More rocking chair pictures, Monty. Yeah, because you looked fun. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, absolutely. They said, I love this, this morning, the President of the United States. They said the Republicans are going down a false path. If This was after he changed the, uh, the thing on Obamacare yet again to where... There is no end in sight for when you can basically, well, maybe the middle of April or the end of April or after the, or after the elections, uh, you, can, you know, there will be the time to end up. But he, he said if the Republicans think they're going to run on stopping Obamacare, they're totally foolish. He said there's some problems that they're refusing to help us work out. And American people are fed up with the Republicans because they all want, I love this, affordable health care. There is nothing affordable about his plan. Here's, uh, what does Flea Obama say? He said, if you weren't paying for health care before, and you're now paying for health care, and you couldn't afford it before, it doesn't... He said, well, you can't afford not to have it. If you don't have any money, you can afford not to have it. Mm -hmm. That's what my mother used to say. You know, my father, my grandfather would say, you know, if you have to ask the price, you can't afford it. My mother would simply say, you just can't afford it, so don't even worry about it. So my mother would not look at things she knew she couldn't pay for. She was always a killjoy. I mean, we go like, back in the early days of color TV. We go over and look at the color TV in a in a restaurant in a building across the street from Mel Drive In, and she's like, "You're not having one of them." So one day, when my father sold the house, he went out and bought the biggest, I mean, huge console color television set. She wondered, "Where did you get that?" He said, "I had a check." And mm -hmm. she'd give him that look. She'd give him one check. To spend and use, and that was it. So he would do things like that because he wanted it, and she wouldn't let him have it. And IRS rules against Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin is a is a it's a, they said it is not it is not currency. It is a product, and therefore cannot be handled as if it were a currency. So that that kill for the, all practical purposes, Bitcoin is not usable in the United States as a as a pro, it's, it, because you don't trade products. You know, for back and forth. So it's, it was meant to be an uh, a online currency that really doesn't exist. Totally does not exist. I know. It's just like I have a piece of paper too. <laughs> I know. My paper is just as good. We we have we're selling Monty Poo. You know, Monty P. We call it, and it's organic and it's it, you know and it's you know it basically it's the energy source of the future. And we we should be able to market it just as well as they do Bitcoin because at least Monty P. exists. And Google try yeah, it does. It really does exist. Yeah. Piles of <laughs> and, it. and there's piles, yeah. And Google's trying to get Google Glasses off state driving bans in court. It's not going to happen because you do you have a depth of field problem. I'm at CES and I'm sitting down at a thing, you know, at, on a on a couch, and here comes a guy with uh, with Google Glasses. He falls over the couch next to me into a guy that's got a computer that knocks the computer to the ground and he, because he, you have no, you're basically spending all your attention is on looking at the Google Glass fight and you're not looking at anything else. Do you know, like for me, it would be disastrous. Yeah. The only time I could see using it was we did it um, on a red carpet where we were taking pictures and then we take pictures with Google Glass and then yeah. we do this and that. But I never did see those pictures. We were playing with it. I know. We never... You were, you were, okay, she was one of the first people at CES to have her hands on Google Glasses. We've actually got uh, pictures of her in the Google Glasses. I think, we got shot, pictures I, of I, think you, I shot a video of, me, yeah. of you with them on, too, from CES. Mm -hmm. So, but we never got the material that were shot with it, so. Yep. And Obama, no, Romney was wrong. Russia is weak, not strong. Uh, what? They said, <laughs> uh, they, they said all it did was piss off Putin even more. They uh, they said that um, uh, what what one of the people said last night. It's it's now you understand why it looks like Romney may be the nominee for Republican president again. Oh my because god! Because uh, they they said that they want to put somebody in office that basically is not a complete incompetent idiot like this president. I mean, 
The well, guy basically he lives. Well, in at least the he did get Russia right. No, he, he got Russia right. No, no. Romney got, Romney Russia, got right. Russia right. They're talking about Obama being the idiot because he has nothing here. You know what this? Oh, you know, Flea Obama said the president said yesterday. I'm more concerned about. Uh, someone from Al Qaeda setting off a nuclear weapon in New York City than I am over worrying about the Russians. What? And then they they question him in Europe um, at the Hague or something. You said Al Qaeda was dead, but now you're worried about them setting nuclear bombs off in the United States. And he said, Well, Al Qaeda is dead, but they have fringe elements. And he said, uh, You're saying that the largest military army in the world with the largest navy in the world mm -hmm. that just walked into a country and took it because you you were too weak is no one to be worried about? Mm -hmm. He said, well, they're doing this because they're, they are, they're such a pathetic little nation now. They have to do things to make themselves feel important, which basically pissed them off even more. Mm -hmm. they, said to, they said what happened, well, Flea said, they turned my teleprompter off and didn't give me the questions in advance. So he basically oh, said no. what he thought, which oh, no. one of the people said, this guy, without a doubt, is the most incompetent person that you have ever seen in his life if he has to do things without written material. Do you know, it could be Anchorman as president. Yeah, Rod, you know, Rod, <laughs> Rod Bundy. Yeah. yeah. Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid's favorite pastimes these days is to rip it in two people most Americans have never heard of. Oh, yeah, the Coach Brothers. Okay, he wants to take away from the Coach Brothers what is all right for Bill Gates and all right for Warren Buffett and all right for Mark Cuban and all right for the unions and all right for any business that supports the Democrats. Republicans should not be allowed the same rights that they have because they're right-wing extremists. Like the one, the Koch brothers have for years uh, give money, not, no strings attached to hospitals. Well, the Koch brothers are trying to buy themselves into New York City by giving a hundred million dollars to put a hundred union people to work to help the poor in the city. Well, we know that as soon as they get the end, they get their money into it, they're going to see that all the union workers are fired and that this wing is only for the wealthy. Mm -hmm. No, it's a it's an inner city's hospital. Nobody in the wealthy would ever go to an inner city's hospital. It was for the people of the area, but he coke you know, but the Reed and others are leading the charge against them, though, mm. they're, because they know they're going to lose in the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has already said about the uh, campaign finance rules, they said, you're working on, they've already told them to fix it once, they didn't, and now they're on, you're working on payments, on, on payments, you know, the maximum amounts you contribute that are 45 years old. Mm. Things have changed in that time. A hundred dollars then is not a hundred dollars today. It's like about the one person says like about a dollar fifty. Mm -hmm. So you have to increase the campaign amount of money that people can. And they said the problem is is that Republicans are more likely to get small donors than Democrats. Democrats yeah. are the wealthiest people in the world. Mm -hmm. And anti-fracking activists barred from forty percent of Pennsylvania County. Yeah, because of the fact that they're trying to, okay, here it works is, there's nothing different from fracking than there is from the way they get oil out of the ground in old fields now. We, I, I'm, I live over by Baldwin Hills, and they basically have been doing that for 50 or 60 years, and you know what? There's been no environmental disaster, there's been no ruining of the water supply. California is the example of how it works because fracking is nothing more than pushing hot steam into the ground, breaking the rock up to free the oil that is stuck in it and pumping it up. Mm -hmm. It leaves this, it, it causes no problem, but the Democrats have, well, we've got to stop fracking because of the chances of pollution. Mm -hmm. Well, no. What does the Obama said? If there was oil there, the water was polluted to begin with because there's oil there. Ah, and Supreme Court appears split in contraception case with Kennedy in the middle. Yeah, well, it looks like what Kennedy joined to do the deciding thing is he's going to he's going to toss they're going to he's going to rule that it needs to go back to the lower courts because there is a simple answer to the situation which the Democrats have already brought up. Well, what happens is you simply uh, don't buy insurance for anyone, put them on Obamacare, and then you don't have the religious problem. And they recommend that that is the recommendation that all people, all businesses that have a religious problem with Obamacare simply don't insure anybody. What? Yeah. And then this morning, uh, 
Obama's architect, Emmanuel, said, well, what we think that they will end up doing is basically paying the fine and then increasing the people's salary so that they can get the better form of insurance that they wouldn't have been able to get under their old health care anyway. Mm -hmm. They're, they're, they're loonies. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal oh, Kingdom. This is a real simple one. You know, some people just get older faster than others. <laughs>